Come, my daughter, it is time to explore my heavenly surrounds. Come, lift your spirit higher, free your earthly mind from all distraction. Relax, for you now know your predestined calling and you shall feel safe and loved and calm as long as you remain within my will and predestined plan for your life. Do not allow a single other person to distract you from this blessing. To stand with your God night and day is your gift from me to you for all you have done and for all which you are going to do. You need to set your sights on heaven above to achieve this highest calling upon your life. You need to be continually clothed with power from on high. You need to walk continually within my will, not looking to the left or the right, but staying steadfast on the path set immediately before you. I will carry you through the toughest times, my daughter. I shall shelter you from every storm. You have now been separated from the earth during this lifetime. You live in the world, but are not part of the world. Come, let us fly to mysteries unspoken. Allow me to show you through my heavenly abode. O oh Lord, Heavenly Father, I feel the gentleness of your Holy Spirit moving across me now. I hear your whisper in the wind, your beautiful presence falling upon every cell in my body, every part of my mind, body and spirit. Take me away, Heavenly Father, allow me never to return to the earth again. Create in me a clean heart so that I might dwell in your heavenly presence forever. O oh Lord Jesus, thank you for this journey. Thank you for all which is to come. Protect me by your spirit, Lord Jesus. Wrap your arms around me and never let me fall. I give my whole heart and soul to you today, Lord Jesus. I am your humble servant forever. I am here only to do your will. Thank you for this journey, this wonderful experience during this lifetime. May these words reach an entire generation with truth. May the love of Jesus be found by every man, woman and child during my time upon the earth. Thank you for the honour of serving you. I shall remain faithful towards you all of my days. I love you, Lord Jesus. I praise your mighty name. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for clearing a path for me to complete these words. May every person come to salvation through what you are about to say. May your Holy Spirit precede each sentence. May every word come alive to each and every listener. May every single person fall to their knees in surrender and delight. I love you, Lord Jesus, and I cannot wait to travel with you this hour. Where is it you shall take me? Open my spiritual eyes. Take me further than I have ever seen before, Lord God. My heart is open before you. Come, blessed daughter, take my hand and together we shall fly. Oh Lord Jesus, I feel the wind in my hair begin to quicken. Like a rushing wind, I feel caught up in your heavenly embrace. I feel your power, all-consuming energy circling around me, pulling me left and right, twirling me around. I feel dizzy. I feel out of control, yet completely in control for I know that you are with me. I know you are standing right by my side. The winds begin to ease and I land in a place of quietness. I feel warmth all around me. A beautiful glow warms my body. This is the warmth of the Father, beloved. This is his holy presence surrounding you now. You have stepped into the heartbeat of heaven, into the all-consuming warmth of his love. I want you now to bathe in his glory. 
to lay down in this warmth and rest whilst I begin to restore your physical flesh. For you have been on a long and arduous journey and now is your time to rest. Oh Lord, thank you for your healing, for I did not know how much more I could bear. I have been waiting for your calling, but during this time the devil has beaten me to despair. No longer shall he attack you, my love, for your spirit rests firmly in my hands. You have now been placed on your future path, and my presence shall protect you daily. He cannot come near your tent, precious child, for you are now dwelling in my holy paradise. The devil is forbidden to come anywhere near you, beloved. You are now continually safe for the rest of your life. Thank you, oh thank you, thank you. Come now, beloved, tell me what you are feeling. Explain to me all which you now see. O oh Lord, I feel so safe and warm. The heavenly glow of the Father falls all around me. I feel encompassed by his love. The atmosphere feels different, thick, warm, lucid. It feels completely different to our atmosphere on the earth. Slower, thicker, warmer. Nothing can affect us here, my Lord. Everything is lifted in this glorious glow. There are no worries or concerns, no thoughts other than love, peace, joy, total surrender, infinite love and blessings. This is everything I have ever wanted. There is no room for thoughts or concern. For temptation or sin, it is all lifted away in your presence. Try to walk, my child. Try to move around in this beautiful atmosphere. Oh Lord, when I move I cannot help but laugh. It feels so wonderful, so freeing. I cannot stop smiling, Lord Jesus. For as I move, every sensation in my body comes alive with joy. O oh Lord, to move here is to move with delight and wonder and exhilaration. O oh Lord, I feel light and free, completely at peace and rest, for there is no room for fear. The love of the Father has numbed my mind so that all I can do is rest. O oh, the peace in my spirit, to be completely at rest for the first time in my life. All I can do is rest in your presence. Let go of all earthly worries or desire, for in this place you are in complete control and you do not need me to do a single thing. For you are in charge and you simply command our spirits to rest in your love, to let go and fully surrender, to allow you to love us and look after us as only you can do. It is here where all of my control can finally be released where true surrender can be fully recognised. O oh Lord, your presence is so thick that it feels hard to move, hard to open my eyes, hard to walk. The longer I stay, the slower I become, the deeper I go. O oh Lord, I simply want to lay down at your feet and enjoy soaking in the Father's holy love. I feel like you are taking my spirit deeper than I have ever been before. I feel so calm, so beautiful, and for the first time in my life so completely free. For so long I have tried to please you through my busyness. For so long I have tried to earn my reward in heaven through works. Yet in this place everything disappears, and there is only you and me and your love. There is nothing to do but relax and allow your presence to wash over me. Oh, how beautiful, how satisfying to fully surrender, to fully allow my physical self to let go and just enjoy simply being with you. Oh Lord, I fall down at your feet. In deep and perfect rest I lay before you. My child, 
This is your holy place of rest forever. Let go of all earthly concerns, for all which I need you to do for the rest of your days is dwell within my holy presence and record these beautiful words. There is nothing more than this which I desire from you. There is nothing I need of you to be doing other than declaring everything you see. I shall save a multitude of souls back towards my kingdom through these teachings. So many will fall to their face because of all they hear. Do not cease to allow the river of revelation to pour forth through you. Be my vessel. Be my earthly vessel of love. Be my holy ambassador. Be the one who reports all they see. Come, my child. Continue to move through this world, for as you move the glory of the heavens shall continue to pour upon you, and with each and every step you shall feel an increasing sense of my presence falling upon your heart and soul. Every child on the earth must allow me to love them. Every child must surrender to a point where they know they are helpless without me that there is nothing they can do to enter eternal paradise other than to trust in the holy blood and power of Jesus Christ. You must have faith that I shall save and deliver you to paradise and I wish for every person to now feel the fullness of my spirit as you walk through these holy grounds. Allow yourselves to breathe again, blessed children, for there is nothing you can do on the earth to impress me. Jesus Christ has done it all for you now. All you need to do is rest and restore and relax and I shall lead you through your lifetime. When you truly surrender your will into my hands then I can release a river of revelation upon your thoughts, your mind. You have the power within you to save nations, but first you must learn to relax, not doing a single thing in your own strength. Learn to listen, blessed children. Learn to lay in my holy atmosphere and relax. Open your hearts and minds so that I might speak with you. Come before me with no expectations knowing that if you surrender your heart and soul towards me, then I shall give unto you the nations. I shall pour forth a river of blessing into your lap, so that people see and hear your words and come before the Saviour in numbers you never considered possible. All you need to do, beloved children, is lay in my presence and glory giving all that you have into my hands. You will not need to do a single thing, simply relax in my presence, my all-consuming glory, and I shall speak with you, whisper words of intelligence into your minds, so that you can move and act according to my will and purpose for your life. Stop your striving, beloved children. Relax and let go and I will breathe forth the life of my spirit into your hearts and you shall be revived. You shall come alive in the power and strength of my Holy Ghost and you shall save and deliver a multitude of sinners into my hands. Heavenly child, come move with the wind, come fall into my embrace. I wish to take you on a journey unseen or unspoken before, but to do this you must allow your spirit to soar freely through my heavenly realms. This is a choice only you can make. This decision is entirely in your hands. I will not force you to separate from the earth so that you can continue on this journey. I will not force a single child created to succumb to my will and plans. I can only lead you truthfully in the right direction. The rest is in your hands. O oh, Father, on this day I choose to follow you completely. 
I choose to let go of my will and surrender completely in every way. Then let us begin my daughter. Allow my presence to consume every part of your heart and soul. For I must separate your mind, body and spirit completely unto my plans. How I will do this is entirely supernatural. You will never think or feel the same again. For your spirit shall be separated and joined as one with mine. Come my child, it is time to separate you fully. Come surrender before my throne. O oh Lord, on this day I give you my whole life. Every part of me I give towards you now. Blessed child, I am placing upon you now a spirit of heaviness, of deep, never-ending peace. Do you understand that from this day forward your spirit shall rest with me? Yes, my Lord, I understand completely. I know that to fulfill this work, I, to speak forth your holy words unto the nations, I must separate completely. To speak forth words from your spirit, I must exist with you in spirit continually night and day, never apart, always aware of your holy will. To be all whom you have called me to be, I must stand before the Lord God of heaven and earth, serving you willfully night and day. I must preach your message of salvation until every soul repents on earth. I must declare the wisdom, knowledge and glory, power and majesty of our God from heaven. I must prepare the way for the Lord Jesus Christ's return. I must proclaim his message of justice, liberty, freedom. I must deliver this message of faith, hope and love to all the nations. I must proclaim his truth. I have been chosen in these last and final days to be God's holy messenger and therefore I must stand before him and declare his truth. I must listen intently, keeping separate from the words, lies and deception of the world. I must remain forever at his calling, forever attentive to his words. I have been chosen, set apart since birth, to receive this message, this final calling for all the children on the earth. I declare before you this day, my God, that I shall separate before you in mind, body, spirit, soul and strength, so I can do and achieve all which you have planned for me to do. Willfully I lay down every single part of my life before you. Willfully I promise to serve you night and day as you desire. Whatever you wish to say to the people of the earth, I shall declare for you. Whatever your plans and intents for the world are, my Lord, bring forth your wisdom unto me and I shall declare it upon the earth. I exist only to serve you willfully, my God. I live only for you from this day forward. You are now about to be separated fully to my kingdom. Your spirit shall eternally be with me and the Lord Jesus Christ shall exist fully within you. He shall guide and lead you throughout every single day of your journey. What he prays, you shall pray. What he speaks, you shall speak. You shall recall the holy words from heaven as you see and experience my ways, and you shall speak forth to the nations through the power of the Holy Spirit as given to you through the voice of your living Saviour. You shall record the sights, feelings and wonders of heaven as given and shown to you daily so that the children on the earth might see and believe in all which lies waiting for them once they leave your earth. My child, you have a mighty task to achieve for your God in heaven. You shall deliver a continual outpouring from my spirit for every man, woman and child. I need you as my scribe, precious daughter, and I trust you to deliver every word spoken towards you now. I know you will not hold back. I know you are not afraid of what you shall find and discover on the other side of your lifetime. I know that you have been prepared for this task your whole life and that you are ready. You must be ready and available to speak for me and to speak for the Lord Jesus at a moment's notice. We shall guide this earth into its future 
and we shall protect every son and daughter from the trials and tribulations coming upon the world. The days grow darker, my child, and the world needs my scribes to rise up and speak forth words through my spirit and truth to guide them, satisfying the longings of their hearts, reminding them of all which is to come, and comforting them. This is our predestined plan for the earth, darling one. This is how the Lord Jesus intends to speak with his children in these last and final days and hours. He shall speak daily with his people and they shall recognize his voice. A multitude of sinners shall be saved through these words. This call is for such a time as this, my child. This moment in history calls for divine intervention as never seen nor heard before. The time of the end draws near, beloved, and we must now break our silence in order for every single child on the earth to be prepared for the last and final day. We come to preach the good news that eternal life is real, that heaven shall be every person's reward who gives their life to the Saviour, Jesus Christ. Only he can set hearts free. Only he can deliver every soul to paradise. Be prepared, precious children, for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ is about to be revealed and the mysteries of God spoken. These are the days when the Lord shall break his silence and in doing so shall gather a harvest of people towards him as never seen before. Come now, blessed daughter. It is now time to separate you unto my kingdom. At present, you are still very much in the physical flesh. You are still thinking with your human mind. I now need to give you the fullness of the mind of Christ. I need to take you away from every thought, every fantasy, every deception from the enemy, so that you think only thoughts which are pure, wholesome, righteous, worthy of my kingdom. The world is filled with sin, blessed daughter, and the mind absorbs so much unnecessary information that it is almost impossible for humanity to think clearly. I must now remove every obstacle from your path so that you think clearly, see clearly, hear my words without distraction, and move in the Holy Spirit in ways never experienced by you before. I must now anoint you with my presence and take away all which has fueled your mind since the beginning of your time on the earth. From this day forward you shall only think and feel and see with your spirit. You shall only know and understand through my wisdom, my words, my heart's desires for the precious children in the world. O oh Lord, I am ready for this tremendous blessing. Thank you, Father, for renewing my mind through the power of your Holy Spirit. My child, I need you to lie down for a while whilst this happens. I need you to relax completely under my will whilst this occurs. You shall be flooded full to overflowing with my presence and glory. And once this happens, you shall never see your earth or the people living upon it the same again. For I shall renew your mind with the love and graciousness of your Christ. You shall continue to live in your world as normal, but with the power of the risen Christ inside you. Nothing shall ever be too hard or complicated again. I shall give to you the peace of eternity, the rest of the Father, and the abundant grace of my mercy and love. You shall glow with an everlasting glow of my glory, blessed one. I promise you shall never be the same again. My child, you are now ready and there shall be no more delay. Describe for me everything you see on this journey, every thought, feeling and emotion, every sight and sound and experience, every sensation, every word. Come, blessed child, reach out your hand, for I wish to spend these precious moments with you now. 
O oh Father, I reach out my hand and as I do, my thoughts, feelings and emotions begin to come alive. I see wildflowers everywhere, all around me, white flowers circling every part of my spirit. It is as if the flowers are alive, yet they are not planted. They are living, moving, dancing all around me. I see myself in an atmosphere of space. It is like I am floating way out beyond our earthly reaches of time. I see the flowers up close, every petal, every intricate design. I reach out and take hold of one of the flowers. It is so beautiful to my sight, so pure, so white. The flower is symbolic of your transformation, my child. You shall see this flower everywhere on your earth to remind you how far you have come on this journey, to remind you of my blessings and love and the precious task which you are now fulfilling for me. Hold this flower in your hand, beloved, and walk with me a while, for I wish to show you something so beautiful this day. I feel the Father's love all around me, all-consuming, glowing presence of warmth and radiant beauty. He lifts me up on wings of glory into his loving care. I feel his arms wrapped around me. The life force of the Father breathes over me, filling me full to overflowing with the divine and holy essence of his being. Every cell in my body radiates with perfect love and satisfaction. I can feel a warmth in my belly, a glowing fire of warmth from his love burning deep within me. The intensity of his love increases until I can no longer stand. The fullness of his being is consuming me now. Oh, to walk with the Father in such a way, to be blessed to feel the love of my Creator pouring forth upon me. Oh, never do I wish to leave you, Daddy, Papa, Father God. Never do I wish to leave the safety and security of your holy presence for nothing on the earth compares with this feeling within me now. O oh Lord, there is nothing but peace and rest and delight within your midst. There is nothing but security and pleasure and radiant love. Come, my child, sit with me a moment. I wish to speak with you concerning the days and weeks to come. My daughter, I am slowly beginning to open your eyes to my spirit. You shall see things new and differently from this moment on. You will view your world with the eyes of my reality, the eyes of my spirit. Everything will seem beautiful, perfect, full of life. You shall desire to be with me throughout every second of your existence. You shall never wish to cease speaking these beautiful words. For these words shall connect you with my spirit completely, eternally. No one shall ever be able to separate the love from my spirit which rests within you. You will not want to break away from this experience, nor shall you have to. Night and day you shall stand in my holy presence. No person will ever understand why you are so happy so free, so in love with your God, so beautiful, so young, so vibrant. It is because you now walk upon your world with me. You walk with your God night and day, and no person will understand why you are so excited, so passionate, so full of love and life and conviction. But they will know and see that something has happened to you, something above and beyond that which the world can see. The world will know and see and feel that the Spirit of the Holy Lord God of Heaven rests upon you. They will want what you have but never be able to obtain it, not until they return in spirit unto me. What you are now going to experience is life on earth as blessed by my Holy Spirit life as it is truly meant to be. You shall walk only in spirit and in truth. You shall see differently, look differently, appear to the outside world in ways they have never experienced from you before. They shall feel my glory radiating out from every cell in your body. 
Any person who comes within close proximity of you shall feel the intense love, warmth and the presence of your God. For I shall pour out my spirit physically, mentally and spiritually through your body. I shall use you to express the fullness of my spirit to all those whom you encounter in your life. For they are never to know why you have changed so dramatically, why you look and feel and see and express things in the beautiful way you do. All they will know and comprehend with their earthly minds is that the spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon you. O oh, blessed child, the days ahead are fraught with danger for those who reside on the earth. I need you to be my spokesman, my ambassador for words. I need you to speak with my children concerning the enemy's plans. I need you to warn them of impending dangers. My child, I shall stay with my children right until the very end. But I need you to stay with me so that I can complete these most important plans. I need you to speak for me to the children of the world because you hear my voice so clearly. Your mind is completely open to the Holy Spirit and I love you so very much, dear one. I need you to be my voice unto the nations. Come now, daughter, we must fly to the outer reaches of my heavenly kingdom. Lord, I feel like I am breaking down into a trillion particles. I feel like I am simply matter, with no real form or solid shape. I am completely conscious of my whereabouts. I know who I am, where I have come from, but I have no idea where I am going. My daughter, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon you. The fullness and glory of the risen Christ Jesus lives within you now. It is His Spirit operating fully within you. It is his glorious spirit living inside your flesh. He now controls every thought, word and emotion. He comes to dwell amongst his people in spirit and in truth. Every person on the earth could experience the fullness of their saviour in such a way. But not many ever do. Why is this Heavenly Father? Why don't your children surrender their whole spirits completely into your hands? so that the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Jesus Christ can dwell within them fully. My child, most people are too frightened to truly give their spirits completely into my hands. You have been ordained by your Father God Most High to complete these specific plans. In order to do this, you must stand before me night and day, giving your whole self unto me. Most people on the earth are happy to serve me part-time never fully, always with reasons why they cannot give unto me all that they have. Even those who seem to serve me full time still have thoughts and agendas of their own. Sinful nature exists within every person, blessed daughter. All have sinned and fallen short of my glory. Pride in man rules most situations. It is so very hard for man to surrender completely unto my ways for fear that I might ask them to do something they do not wish to do. If only man could realise that I would only pursue in him the perfect thoughts, plans and intentions of my heart towards him. I would never make a person do something they were not created to do. I would only add to a person's joy by increasing their desire to go forth and do that which is specifically ordained for their lives. My child, you have had to re-enter into the spiritual realms fully, for I need you to be in spirit and in truth, continually night and day to complete these words and this final message for your lands. This is your specific journey. No person could ever do what you do. No person could ever write millions and millions of words filled with the power and glory from on high, for this is your predestined calling my journey on the earth for you. No other person could replace the role of my scribes. This gift has been given specifically unto you, so that you can continue with stamina night and day, doing all which the Lord God in heaven needs you faithfully to do. Do you understand this, my child? Father, I fall down on my face before you, unable to truly comprehend all which is happening at this time. 
All I know right now is that I must continue speaking these holy words, that I must minister to the world in spirit and truth. Thank you for this highest calling, Father. I am not worthy. You know that I am not worthy except through the blood, sanctification and forgiveness of my Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. I am not worthy of any position of authority. I am not worthy to stand before you night and day but I am honoured completely to be chosen. I do not write these words through my own thinking. These words simply pour forth from my spirit. Like a river, you continue to fill my world with knowledge, revelation and wisdom from your kingdom. You know, Lord, that this is not something I especially need to do, for I am happily simply to worship you. I do not need any great accolades whilst I live upon the earth. I just want to sit with you, to lay at your feet, to give you all the love, honour and glory you deserve, Lord Jesus, for all which you went through. I love you, Lord Jesus. I have always loved you and I simply desire to love you more and more each day. If these words cease to continue tomorrow, then I shall be eternally happy and grateful that my work on the earth is through. But if you call me to wake up in the morning and continue, then this is what I shall do. For these words bring this servant incredible peace and joy whilst writing. These words take me further than I have ever been before. And if one person comes to salvation through these writings, hallelujah, praise the Lord. O oh, Father, I ask that you send forth these words unto every nation so that every eye is open to your glorious truth. Let the enemy never come against me, for I wish only to share your love, your beauty, your forgiveness, grace, mercy and power with every child now living upon the earth. I desire that every person bows at the name of Jesus, the coming King of glory. O oh Father, allow every knee to bow, every tongue to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord before your precious Son returns. For I long to see every man, woman and child saved upon the earth. O oh Father, let not these words and the words of your Holy Bible miss a single person. Send forth your Holy Spirit across our lands. Bring to the attention of every person your words of truth, your holy plans. Let not one single person be missing on the day of triumph. Let no person be absent from reconciliation back into your hands. O oh, precious daughter, the reason I need you to write continuously is because I want for every single child to return towards me now. I want for every child to be saved towards my kingdom. But there is so much work to do before the world surrenders completely to my ways. This is just the start of something beautiful, precious child, and I shall reward thee for thy diligence, patience and faith. You are doing something mighty and awesome for your Father God in heaven. You are preparing the whole world for my beloved son's return. And together we shall not stop pouring forth wisdom and revelation upon the earth until every person's eyes are opened and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed. Many will run away and never receive these words which have been spoken. So many, unfortunately, will not be saved. Hardened hearts shall be their downfall, pride and mischievous ways. But I shall not stop asking, inviting every child on your planet to follow my ways. I shall give every single person the opportunity to surrender, to come fully into my presence before the end of days. O oh Lord, Heavenly Father, Thank you for this amazing opportunity to present these words from heaven for you. I love you, Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this journey. I give my whole life unto you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.